Hello and welcome to United Prayer. Today is Wednesday and we're going to be praying over souls. Before we get started, I want to remind us of our theme scriptures this week. The first one is Matthew 18, 19 through 20 in the Amplified. It says, Again I say to you, that if two believers on earth agree, that is, are of one mind and in harmony about anything that they ask within the will of God, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, meeting together as my followers, I am there among them. As we're gathering this week, we are two or more. As we're gathering in His name, He is among us. In Psalms 34, 17, it says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their distress and their troubles. As we cry out to Him, He hears us. He hears us and He delivers us and rescues us. So today we're going to be crying out for souls. We're going to be crying out for souls for the kingdom of heaven. In Proverbs 11.30 in the Amplified, it says, The fruit of the consistently righteous is a tree of life. And he who is wise captures and wins souls for God. He gathers them for eternity. We are here to gather souls for eternity. We are here to be used. We talked about yesterday being a body of Christ, being a vital part. Each of us is a vital part to minister to others, to bring them into the body of Christ to minister the love of Jesus as we're crying out for souls, as we're praying for souls to come into the kingdom of God. We are His instruments. We are His hands. We are His feet. We are His voice. So we need to be able to do that. But the only way that we can do that is if we're walking in the fruits of the Spirit. We need to be walking in love, peace, patience, kindness, self-control. If we're not walking in those things, how are we showing the love of Christ. To win souls, you must show the love of Christ. You must be loved so that they want what you have. So today, as we pray for souls, I also want to pray for each one of you for boldness. Each of you to know how wide, how deep is the love that He has for you so that you can use that love and express it towards others. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come together in agreement according to your will, Father God. We're crying out to you for souls, for your kingdom. Lord, we do not want anyone to perish in hell, Father God. So right now, we ask for boldness. We ask for direction. Lord, we ask you, use us. Use us to bring in more souls into the kingdom of God. Father, I thank you that we are more than able to walk in love. We are more than able to be examples of you so that those people will know that we are your children and they will ask us, how do you have such peace? How do you have such joy? And we can share that with them so that they also can live in the victory that you have given them. Father, we thank you right now for souls. We ask that you just tell us where to go, tell us what to say and how to say it father i thank you for that each person has the boldness to do it that we are not in fear that we are not timid but that we are bold for you father we thank you for it we thank you for more souls coming into your kingdom daily father and we thank you that you use each one of us in bringing in those souls in jesus name we pray amen we thank you for joining me today and I hope you have a great day.